special <laughs> tests, you really want to, you know, you're going to do them when somebody's coming in with funny symptoms in their arm, whole hand numbness, tingling, you know, ulnar distribution. So any, anything that's, they're complaining of uh, clumsiness, heaviness. So that's, that's, you really want to have that complaint to do the, if they're not, then you don't necessarily have to do these two tests, okay? So these are special tests. So with the Roos test, where you're going to have them in shoulder abduction, external rotation, and you're going to put them into extension, okay? And elbows at 90 degrees, okay? Now what I want you to do is open and close your, your hands. Yep, keep going, just like that. Up, yep, open and close. McGee says hold this for three minutes. <laughs> Whoa. But there, I think there was a study done by Sizer et al., and they found that a lot of false positives came. And they found that 90 seconds was really, for people who didn't have issues, Tired. that 90 seconds was okay. Your elbows are dropping. So you're just reproducing the symptoms. Yeah, you're looking for their reproduction of symptoms. Oh, my arm is starting to get heavy. Oh, yeah, cause, it's causing my numbness and tingling. This is like the T4 thing, so the neurological it, symptoms come from. Any, any of those, any of the thoracic outlet, the T4, the first rib, if they're having you know, symptoms down their arms, or anything, anything that they may be even describing, Sorry, you know, I'm heaviness in my arm, and any, any type of complaint. You can't. Um, okay. Limited. Yeah. All right, so that's the ruse. With <laughs> AdSense. <laughs> <laughs> you know, feel for the radial pulse. <laughs> so I'm going to take her into extension, a little bit of external rotation. So I still feel her pulse, which is good. I'm going to have her turn and face me. Kind of turn your head, just your neck, just your neck. Yeah. Okay. Now go ahead and take a deep breath and hold it for me. And I still feel her pulse. And then relax. So you're looking for a decrease in the pulse. When she takes that deep breath in, holds it, you're looking for a decrease in, in, in pulse. Just in the intensity of the feel? It, it may, you, you may get a little bit of a less, uh -huh. but in some cases, really bad cases, it'll just you won't yeah. feel it. Yeah, it'll just stop completely. So what does that mean? Good question. What does it mean? Well, it, it tells you, yeah, that, that there's, there, there's something going on, some sort of dysfunction going on, whether it be her scalenes, her first rib, um, you know, pec minor, because you're, you're stretching that. There's something going on here that, that's compressed, possibly compressing, irritating her neurovascular structures.